Hi, I'm Amy from the Alti Store. I am here with Philip from Canadian Solar. And we are going to talk about their new Smart Module. Now, we've already done a video in the past showing the advantages of using the Solar Edge DC Optimizer with the Solar Edge String Inverter. Well, what Canadian Solar has done is they have integrated the DC Optimizer into their module. So Philip is going to talk about some of the advantages of it. Thank you for the introduction, Amy. You're welcome. So yes, here we have an external unit, an optimizer from SolarEdge. What Canadian Solar has done in conjunction with SolarEdge is integrate that unit within the junction box. So you may see an example in the back where uh, you see that the junction box is a little bigger than it would typically be on a standard module. Mm -hmm. So uh, not only do you benefit from all the advantages that SolarEdge optimizers offer that Amy probably covered in other videos, you also benefit from a lot of labor savings. So dealing with an external unit, there's a few steps that you need to account for when installing those. The first step being unpacking the unit and bringing it on the roof. One more part to bring with you with all the associated hardware that it requires. Once on the roof, you need to make sure that you install this on your racking, um, ground it, and also connect it to the module. Uh, depending on what kind of installation you're dealing with, for example, a pitch roof, that could be a little more complicated. Mm -hmm. Keeping your balance and installing all these components in a restrained area is not always easy. So now all you have to do is install that smart module as you would with a standard module. So now uh, the leads coming out of the module are leads that end up with MC4 connectors, and you can just string the modules one to another as you would with normal modules. So you get the advantage of the DC optimizer, but you don't have the additional labor associated with wiring it. So you're just going to be wiring the, the modules together in series, just like if you're using a regular string, optim uh, string inverter without a DC optimizer. Correct. So the modules are very easy to connect to one another. So just a, a quick recap to go over some of the advantages of using a DC optimizer. Um, Philip's gonna gonna talk about some of the the pluses in using this. Yes, thank you, Amy. So one of the major savings that you you get or the benefit that you get is uh, higher energy output. So if you look at uh, modules, modules are never created equal. You always have a difference in power, and that's mm -hmm. reflected on the flash data on the back. So when you put these modules in a string, the lowest performing module typically drags the other modules down. By having every optimizer find the optimal maximum power uh, tracking point, mm -hmm. you're able to optimize the power performance of any module that's on that string. Great. Same thing when you have soiling or when the module ages or even if you have shading. Right. Those exacerbate uh, the power differences between modules. So the optimizer removes that concern. Right. Also, if, if, the, uh, if you've got a roof with different pitches, Yes, so design flexibility is a big thing. Yeah. Um, you're able to put more modules per string, and those modules don't necessarily have to be at the same tilt or fixed orientation. So you can mismatch even modules between different power classes. So that's wow. great if you buy a lower power class smart modules, for example, and now move on to the next power class. You can mesh the previous modules with the new ones on a project, so you're not left with uh, leftover inventory. Right, yeah, right. So you've got the... the flexibility to expand in the future, not be, oh no, I'm, I'm stuck because I can't get those old modules anymore. Exactly. You can, you can use whatever is available now. And SolarEdge is actually very good at marketing that. If you go out in the field and sell a project, most of the times when you go to this, come to the step of designing it, you realize that there were some obstructions we didn't see, yeah. or ends up being an odd number of modules. Uh, with an optimized module, you're more flexible. You can add that odd module and have uneven strings or even get access to different uh, sections of the roof that you wouldn't have access to otherwise. That's terrific. So another advantage is the monitoring. Mm -hmm. SolarEdge offers 25 years free monitoring and it's a panel level monitoring uh, nice. access that you get. So you're able to see if there's a problem at the module level and pinpoint yeah. specifically which module might need replacement. That also enables you to see actually the benefit of having optimizers as panel ages. You'll see that some panels perform a little better than others, mm. and you'll see that uh, differentiation accentuate uh, over the course of the lifetime of the project. Nice. Uh, then in terms of safety, well, there is the feature that's called Save DC that allows the module to output only one volt until it senses the heartbeat from the inverter. Mm. So when you're connecting modules in a string and you want to figure out if everything has been properly connected, you can go and use your multimeter at the end of that string, 
measure a voltage, and the voltage you measure should be equal to the number of modules you have in that string. Nice. And the inverter won't turn on until it gets the, the, uh, the sync from the grid. So exactly. when the grid turns off, the inverter turns off, the it modules turns off the do modules. not receive that heartbeat anymore and revert to uh, outputting one volt wow. per module. Very nice. So that's, that's actually key to complying with rapid shutdown right. and also looking forward into other requirements that might be introduced in the future. Excellent. Nice. Uh, looking at those steps that you, uh, you save, we've estimated that the cost savings for an install of, let's say, 5 to 6 kilowatt would vary between $225 to $275, mm. depending on some parameters of the project. But they are non-negligible. Plus, you have the component savings. So typically, if you'd be buying a regular module and an external optimizer, you'd be paying a certain amount. We sell the smart module for an equal or, in some cases, lower price. Uh, to the customer. So that translates to direct savings on the cost side and the labor side. Very nice. And so what if for some strange reason the uh, something goes wrong with the optimizer? Do you have to completely replace the whole start smart module? No you don't. So it's actually pretty simple. Uh, at the top of the um, junction box there is a little panel that can be open. You have access to the connecting ribbons between the module and the optimizer. And there's a little jumper that can be installed there that allows to completely bypass the optimizer. So in other words, the module reverts to being just a standard module. So you can do uh, normal flash test, uh, testing, for right. example. Or you could also install an external optimizer to that standard module to re-enact no, re, uh, the optimized right. module. That's fabulous. So that's easy for maintenance or replacement. Yeah, that's great. So you don't have to replace the whole unit if, if one component goes bad. That's, that's a really nice design. Um, so we, we talked about the, the cost savings in labor and just the, um, the, the price is, is equal to if you're buying the, the individual units. And they are available now? They are. So currently we have power classes ranging from 255 to 265. Ah and they're mainly used for residential applications. Mm -hmm. And again, you benefit from all the benefits of an optimized system, so higher power production, right. uh, panel level monitoring, safe DC, which is great for rapid shutdown or ah. even just safety of the installation. Yes, yes. And, and many more. Excellent, so if you are required by National Electric Code to, to do your rapid shutdown, this will give you that ability to shut down literally at the module. Correct. So one thing to mention is that the smart module needs to be installed with a solar edge inverter, mm -hmm. and by doing so, you can comply with rapid shutdown. So it's a solar edge optimizer that's within the smart module. We've partnered with that company. We are the first tier one manufacturer to partner up with solar edge, Wonderful. and therefore the module needs to be installed with their inverters. Excellent. And they've got a, a great selection of different size inverters. So depending on the size of your array, you would just pull correct. Uh, you would just select the correct inverter from solar edge. Correct. Wonderful. That is great. Well, thank you so much for coming. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. All right. And um, make sure that you like and share our video if you found this useful and subscribe to our Alti Store channel. And make sure to check out our website at altistore.com where we've been making renewable doable since 1999. Yay!